let us begin um first things first I did update this didn't I mm, let's double check this real quick okay that is updated hello everyone welcome um, we are going to be doing a haul of these color clubs over here I have the whatever forever collection as well as the oil slip collection and if you are in the future watching this archive on YouTube I invite you to come follow me over on twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP get notified when I'm live and can see all this all the shenanigans in real time because there are you I mean a little bit presumptuous but there are usually shenanigans at some point so let's get a tweet um Let's tweet and then let's do a quick discord. Um, and then we'll get started. My nails are mostly naked right now, except for these two, which I gave just like a quick swipe of base coat. And on this one, I actually also top coat because they have like the beginning of a little, it's not a break yet. I don't want it to be a break. Hey, Luke. Welcome. Okay, I have to finish Discord before I forget. Hold on one more. KJD, <laughs> thank you so much <clears throat> for these seven months. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Okay. I cannot type. Okay, there is the Discord. Hey, son. <clears throat> and that was a Twitch Prime subscription. If you have t Prime, Amazon Prime, you too can have Twitch Prime for free. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm really not sure if I should do something preventative on these two nails because they've got these little stress marks. I'm kind of wondering if I should like give them it like a gel base coat or something. I don't know. I'll think about that while we're doing our haul. We've got the whatever forever collection. And we've got the oil slit collection. I like I like these little windows that are in here where you can like see the colors. And they're both 12 piece collections. So we've got like a considerable amount of polish to go through. Um and I I hope I hope that the webcam is feeling cooperative today and we can get some you know like color accurate looks at things so they uh color club had a bogo offer i don't know like a week or so ago really really fast shipping too i have to say i was impressed especially during a promotion i think i ordered like on thursday and it came on monday <clears throat> hi polished soul i'm sorry guys i'm i'm slightly hoarser than i actually realized <clears throat> let's try to stay lubricated here um i had pretty much decided that i needed needed to have both of these collections in my possession the next time there was a sale so when the sale came i kind of just bit the bullet and i was a little bit irritated i i mean when there's a bogo you have to be careful that they're not trying to pull one over on you. 
because when I put them all into the cart, the, the oil slicks are more expensive and only these were, were free. So instead of like, you know, an oil slick and then an oil slick free and a whatever and then a whatever free, th this is whatever forever, not just, I, I didn't forget. Um, you know, it was like, whatever's most expensive you're paying for, whatever's cheapest, you're getting free. So I made two orders so that I could get my proper discount. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. <clears throat> And again, excuse me, you guys. Um, can I, let's just sco scooch. Oh, this, this could be the thumbnail, you guys. Should we make a thumbnail? <laughs> For some reason, I don't, I almost like don't want to even say anything about it because I feel like I could jinx it. It's how ridiculous YouTube is. Everything is so superstitious. But like, some of my live, live stream archives appear to be like showing up in the recommended algorithm and uh, like usually my tutorials get more views than any of the live stream archives do and I've got a couple of the archives that are just like <sighs> but it's weird because it's like it, they're getting a lot of dislikes but they also have like a long watch time retention but they also have very few comments and it's like I'm not complaining but it's like I don't know I'm trying to figure out like what, what did I do something did I hit upon a keyword or something that I need to be mindful to continue using so um I already have from color club their um poptastic pastel neon collection do, do you guys want to see a comparison I'm, I'm making this longer and harder on myself, but if I sh I should, I should be a good nail person. Hold on. They, they shouldn't be hard to find cause I know exactly where they are. Um, and they're easy to spot in this drawer. Oops. Because they have white tops. Oops, you guys also have white tops. Okay, never mind. You're not the only white topped collection in there. Damn it. Um, I think that's okay. Y'all probably heard that thump. <laughs> okay, here we go. Actually, I suppose I could compare with these also. I feel like I'm missing a couple. But if they're not in the drawer, I'm not sure where they are. Hmm. Wait, did I, are some of them in here? In this, in this shoe box? Because I was testing, ah. Because I was testing with them, so some of them are in here, okay. <clears throat> um, hello to anybody I missed while I was digging around in my polish. Hey, Basinji. Hey, Amethyst. <clears throat> Hi, Bud Spot. <laughs> oh. And Beanie is like right behind his chair. He's like looking very sleepily at me. There. See his little face? <laughs> He's like so sleepy. Um. So I don't expect him to move anytime soon. We can use his chair. Do you guys want to see the... I can't remember what this other collection is called, but they're also kind of pastel and neon, except they're glittery. Okay. Is this... Whoa. <laughs> Polish bottle ASMR. Okay, this is the new collection. Let's just go over this first, since this is like with the plan and then I'll show you guys the other ones um should we just this is this is the top the top for you let's just go one by one and probably I could slightly change the order sometimes if you look at like the uh how they're numbered you can figure out like the technical start and end of the collection and get them in like proper rainbow order 
but I think we've got a pretty good a pretty good order here. Yeah. Where's Beanie? So th this is a larger collection than the previous pastel neon collection, which was seven colors. This is a full 12. So this is kind of like the yellow green. It's called anything but basic. Boy, I might need to. They're, they're quite mess. This, this is actually kind of close. They're quite messing with the camera, some of them, because they're like pastel, but they're also bright. This, I would say this is not color accurate. And this is not color accurate. The, these, these are the least color accurate. The rest of them are okay, but just like a little bit more zhuzh, 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 ajou. <laughs> Anyway, we'll continue on this row. This is like a boss. This is like a lemony yellow. This is first class sass. And talk to the hand. Creamy, dreamsicle-y oranges. Get it, girl. Definitely like corally pink. Totally worth it. Which is like one of the less neon in the collection like they're pastel neons which is like a weird but like this and this don't truly come across neon that's not just the camera um in fact i would say this is actually even dustier in person than the camera's picking up this one too like more more of a hint of gray um did i already read this one totally worth it yeah then we have let's see I need, I need to move these so I can reach around without blocking too much. Okay. Um, Girl Gand. That's an odd name. What is a Gand? I mean, like, it. whenever I see a Polish name that's, like, really, really weird, I'm like, probably that's a reference that I just don't know. Hey, yo. But it's, it's always like a little bit, it's like, I don't want to spend too much time like researching into it because it's not that big of a deal. Uh, this lavender, which reminds me a lot. Okay, here comes more comparisons. Oh, it is. Look at. They're not the same. They're super, super similar to Jam Sesh. It's almost like in between... Um, Jam Session Lacey Lilac. Come on, camera. Oh, it's so subtle. The camera's struggling. But yeah, most people probably don't need all three of these. But I I mean, I'm not most people when it comes to nail polish. No, they're, n they're not dupes. They're, they're very close. I would love to actually swatch them out next to each other too because that one... I remember because we just used it in a manicure is quite a bit darker out of the bottle. I wonder if these are too. We got we got to get to the swatching, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the plunge and see if I can get a capture card that will capture my tutorial camera. I think that would be the best solution because I mean I don't have it out right now. Let me just actually take it out and see what it thinks of these colors. Oh yeah. I might even take a picture and then upload this later in Discord. Like it's so, w one of the things that I really have liked best about this camera is that it's the most color accurate camera that I've ever used. I mean like some people will go and do like post editing to like try and get the color to look like it is in real life like I'm I'm not about that but this camera is really good I need to I need to remember to upload those later um where was I I I did that one I think we're here hey Lilibodo we are kind of just a, a relaxed stream this is the color club whatever forever collection 
and I also have the oil slick collection. So we're just doing like a little haul, haul in comparison, I guess, because I pulled out um, my Poptastic pastel neons to compare them with. So, um, yeah. Hey, Caters. <clears throat> Welcome. This one, I would say this one is just blue enough to not be Periwinkle, but it's like leaning, you know, leaning on Periwinkle's shoulder. Let's take a chill pill. And then this is the other one I said, really, I don't feel like is much of a neon. I mean, it's very pastel. It's good. I, I know my mom would like this color. <laughs> this is like her one of her favorite kind of colors to wear. Um, that's called Get Lost. And then we have... I'm out of here and it's all in the attitude and this one's a lot lot brighter than the webcam is showing like they're all a little bit off but like these two enough that I feel like I need to keep saying it apparently <clears throat> so if we want to compare them to maybe let's do like this We'll scoot these up here. Oh boy, it barely, I mean, it doesn't fit on camera, but then we can bring these here. So these are the Poptastic Pastel Neons. Um, let's see here. Wait. I like I can't do color I mean I can but I was I was arranging in the wrong order there um these are oldish they water marble like like really nice I won't I can't wait to water marble with these these I can't wait to water marble with the oil slicks I can't wait to either like drip marble or maybe scoop marble with Hey, Sparkly. Yeah, we, this is a very spring, a very spring thing. We have the, the whatever forevers. In fact, let's edge them back in a little bit here. The, the new whatever forevers up here. And then these are the old Poptastic Pastel Neons. Um, so like this is Hot 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 Pants, which I just, we just use this. What do we use this in the coral water marble? Uh, Disco's Not Dead, Under the Blacklight, Till the Record Stops, Meet Me at the Rink, uh, Diggin' the Dancing Queen, and Feathered Hair Out to There. Actually, this could probably be... I'm just trying to, like, line them up where, where stuff is over there. So, like, if I were to take, like, these two... This is kind of, like, in between these two colors. Or like, whoa, the blue is kind of in between these two. It's a little bit lighter, especially if you like compare. It's like a kind. It's like in between these three somehow. The green. Like, is lighter. Like when you look at the greens and the yellows. Like we've got three versus two. Like they kind of, I hope, I think these would obviously like play super well together, but it would possibly be one of those situations where it's like, do I actually, like you could create a gradient with these three colors. Would it really be a better gradient if you did it with these five colors or would it just be needlessly complicated? Yeah, Sophia, the uh, the oil slicks, I feel like I should be able to do like an actual oil slick drip marble, which like was, I don't want to say it was the goal when I like kind of discovered drip marbling, but it was something that like instantly occurred to me. And I was like, I feel like I don't have anything that's quite right to, to fill that vision. Wait, the bad one what? Oh, the glasses. Oh no, stabbed yourself in the eye. Oh no. <laughs> Son, please be careful. 
Oh. Yeah, a little, little bit of color therapy for everyone. They are just like such good spring colors. And I love, at first when I saw it, I was like, was that necessary? But then now, like seeing them all together, it's kind of like, yeah, it kind of is in an absurd way. You know, they just, they fit right into the slots that the pastel neons initially left open. So, okay, then we got like, I'm doing like multiple, multiple at a time now, but it makes sense when you see how they line up with each other. I mean, isn't it just kind of perfect? This one is maybe just a little bit more like there, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually, it's pretty, it's actually, it's like in the 60s, but it's super dreary. The only problem with this is like, it's like, I obviously can't do a 12 color gradient because that would be absurd. But like, that's basically what I want to do with this collection. It's, it's so juicy and flows. It just flows. The colors are like exactly what you want the colors to be. How much of this can I fit on the camera? Like they just, they fit right in there. See, I could like take this out. No, that's, a, that's an important one too. It's like, they're all... They all kind of just fit in there. So we go from the pinks, oranges, yellows, greens, blues. Oh, come on, camera. Why won't you turn just a little bit more? I'll just... Into the purples and the pinks. <laughs> I'll just drag the whole damn miracle mat over here. But you know what I mean? It's like these, co these, co these collections fit together flawlessly and then you guys and then so we we've got all these we've got all these um where can I like <laughs> then let's okay I'll just line these up over here they've they've got to give up the spotlight for a minute um some of these need to be shaken a bit but if anybody can help me out and remember what the hell this collection is called, they they glow in the dark. Also, they're uh, there. See those sparkles? Everything else you you've seen is a cream. These are glow in the dark sparkles. Um, but like they're along the same type of color scheme. Yeah, they're much more settled, probably because they're glitters. So, like, <laughs> and yes, these do, like, exactly, can I, like, fit all these on here? These, like, exactly match up. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, like, spring just came all over my I mean <laughs> that's not what I meant to say <laughs> spring is covering my miracle mat let's just can I say that <laughs> can that come out like not dirty <clears throat> anyway these these are all I don't remember what this collection is called I'm not sure if these are still available I didn't like browse around color clubs website too much when I was buying these because I mean like I was already planning on buying 24 polishes just like that I didn't need to like get tempted by anything else except okay they have loyalty points the fuck now I have like $10 worth of loyalty points I need to spend <sighs> okay Let's name these off and then we're going to get to the oil slicks. So, and these are all, they're not like hollow glitter, but they're very iridescent glitter and they have a strong glow. They're the type of glow. Can I get it dark enough in my hand for you to see? Probably not. Maybe if I really, like, what if I turn off the ring light? Let, we're going to do an experiment here. Can I get it? Ooh. Ooh. 
I'm kind of surprised that worked. <laughs> They glow in the dark. I mean, that was a super poor showing, but it was better than I thought. Yeah, the glow is the color. I mean, it's stronger on some than others. You guys want some more of that? Let me see if I can really... I bet... Okay, let me shake this one up. Get it, like, good and... Whoa. <laughs> it sounded like I was really spanking something. <laughs> All right, let me hold it up real well to the bright light. And then, can I even maybe do it without turning off the... No, the ring light's too powerful. Gotta turn the ring light off. How was I doing that before? How did I get it? There we go. I mean, I accidentally somehow managed to get a really good hand grip on the camera that time they got it really dark in there but yeah they do they're they're a good glow in the dark <laughs> just use your loyalty points okay we're gonna we're gonna name these uh boogie all night long i might have already said that call of the disco ball soul sister i'm seeing a trend here it's electric is that even the right beat on the flip side get down tonight to funky town oh and this is feel the funk <laughs> so yeah our spring fantasticness can i like just just wrap the polish around on all sides. <laughs> <Like this. laughs> it's weird. I guess it's because it's at a little bit of an angle. I'm like, why do I have like... Anyway, okay. Enough messing around with polishes. So that's how all these compare... I'm impressed by how more separated these are compared to these because I bought these at the same time um, with intentions to like do combination things with them that I probably never yes Karen yes <laughs> no butt spot <laughs> yes the remix the glitter is the remix yes yeah, so we have the poptastic pastel neons Poptastic pastel, poptastic pastel neons, poptastic pastel neon remix, and the whatever forevers. Okay. Um, let's put all these back over here, and then they'll make their way back into their drawer. And maybe I'll actually put these back in their box. I also, you guys, as far as these, um, smooshy, like Easter smooshy, like just pick like, I don't know. There's some, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I can like not drop and break them all. There's so much that could be done with these. I just, they're so nice. I mean, I haven't played with them at all yet. I mean, let's, let's just open one of them. The thing is, they're... Okay, they're very, very closed is what they are. Let's try a different one. Are they all this tight? Okay, no, they're not. Um, so, you see this? You see how the brush looks yellow? It's a black brush. Um, these are super, super, super opaque and pigmented. I mean, you know, pastels and hollows can both be real iffy like that. Let me pick another like weird color, like the bright green. Oh boy, they are, they're quite tight, but none of them, I don't know, I'm gonna have to like put a rubber band on that one or something. You know, that's always my test. If you can pull out the brush and you can't see that that brush is black, like it's a nice opaque polish. 
<laughs> Put the polishes back. Um. <laughs> so they they probably are gonna water marble well. Water, water, water marble. Water marble well. They're probably gonna uh, gradient well. They're probably gonna do whatever the hell they want well. I have to imagine they would smooshy well because they're creams and creams just like to with each other when you smoosh them. <clears throat> you feel complete with the glitter and the glow and the dark sparkly. Well, I, I can't say that I'm surprised because it does. I mean, it's very sparkly. So these are the oil slicks and they are multi-chromes and some of them are more multi-chrome than other. Um, but they are all pretty freaking nice. And we're going to try our best. We're going to just get in all those corners where hopefully we'll be able to see the multi chromy goodness. And this is an old collection that they re-released. I would be interested to see if there's somebody out there that has them both. Um, to see if they, if they nailed the formula or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure Color Club has like you know, removed more stuff um, from their formula since the first time these were out. I, I wonder if there is probably such a comparison out there, maybe. I always wanted these, and then by the time I kind of was going to buy them, they had become hard to find and were expensive. So I was really pleased to, um, like, see the re-release. And like I said, I had, when, when the BOGO came up, I had already decided to buy all these um, they are available on some of like the third party sites, like, you know, other nail polish sites, but they weren't really particularly cheap, which is why I usually go to those sites. You know, when I can get a, a China glaze for, you know, two, three dollars, stuff like that, then it's a deal when you're like the same price as the regular website and you don't have a sale, then why would I, why would I do that? And like I mentioned, I had to break my order into two, but color club has a at least at the time, I don't know if it was promotional, only has like a $30 free shipping threshold, which is pretty reasonable to me. And uh, so I was, e even with two orders, I was still able to hit it for both of them. So, but splitting them into like two orders saved me like an additional 20 bucks to not get ripped off on the BOGO-ness. So, my, mind your shopping tomfoolery I don't, I don't know what else to call it these are kind of harder to put in any kind of order i mean we do have like some that are maybe kind of like something like whoa <laughs> how did that roll so far away these bottles are square something like that maybe boy how am i ever gonna pick a thumbnail for this <laughs> Because this is so damn good, too. The other one took up more of the screen, though, and was more springy. I don't know if this, like, yeah, see, even looking, like, the camera is not picking up all of the, the multi-chromeness, like, as I pick it up and start to get more of the angles, and, like, that, there we go, down in the corners. See that flash, like, pink and gold and purple? Like, these are... One of these is what we're going to do on my nails. So there's that also. <clears throat> oh, no, you had to buy a car instead. Oh, oh, I mean, OK, yay, new car. But most people like it's such a hassle. It's like almost not even worth it. I'm sorry, yo. But also congratulations because new car. I like old timey words. Sometimes they're just like so good. It's like, how did this fall out of use? It's so perfect. Okay, so let's let's go through these. Let's start at this juicy, juicy purple. It's reading the camera's picking up a lot of the blue of it. It's oh, there we go. It's got a lot of this like maroonish and bronze happening also. So like one of the things I, I really liked about this collection is it just doesn't have your your expected multi-chromes. Like, there are some where it's just like, oh, it's another, you know, 
so many that are like maybe not exactly dupes but they're the same sort of shifting color combinations excuse me something like this like a blurple to burgundy to gold to purple is not something that i have in my collection like i i got a lot of stuff like like those purples i was showing you those those ones over there um where yeah most people don't need all all three of those this this is a unique color kerfuffle <laughs> yeah kerfuffle is a good one shenanigans yeah oh camera i'm so glad you're you're cooperating with me camera you're a good camera you're a nice camera i'll still use it so if if i get a capture card that works properly with my uh my tutorial camera the plan is to still keep myself a wide variety of cameras um for in case there is an instance where it's just not catching it so the plan would be to move this this camera to the face camera and then the face camera maybe to the beanie camera although i don't know that beanie camera really needs a better well of course everybody would say of course beanie camera needs a better camera why wouldn't he um did i even say the name of this we'll never be royals so yeah there is like a definitely it looks predominantly blurple on camera but i would say it's predominantly like a royal purple <clears throat> so pretty so pretty yeah and do and duo chromes too i how i hope oh what's going on over here uh, there's a house for rent and there's people over there so i gotta like <laughs> i'm already that old lady looking out my window what's going on over there you're in my neighborhood this is on the vine <laughs> so it's like it's like a frosty grape purple it's picking up very very silver on this camera can we there we go more like that more like that see i th this is this is why i'm not sure that i want to switch beanie's camera for this camera even if i switch this camera for this camera you know what i'm saying because beanie's camera even though it's like the worst or cheapest of the cameras like it does a good job oh look at you you even can catch some of the other this one is definitely harder to catch the duochrome than that first one was there you get a little bit of it. it's like a very lightish gold like that's not just reflection like that is the duochrome that uh like light seeming gold that you see down there in the corners <clears throat> then we have this one which is moving into like more of a berry shade of purple and this has yeah there we go like a little bit like more of a goldy bronze duochrome ah there we go almost, almost like a rose gold to bronze duochrome o over and under the berry purple frostiness and some of them are like some of them look like they're gonna have a frosty finish and some of them look more like a shimmer finish i don't know that'll and once again i honestly when when i do hauls like this and this is like not a new feeling to me this is a feeling i always have when i do hauls like to to do swatches like i it's like man i mean once once everything's going like hauls and swatches will be incorporated into one like that would ideally be the, that you know i should ideally 10 years ago <laughs> that's how it should have started and then i wouldn't have to like be playing catch up here oh man i can i i can't even barely imagine if i'd have been that smart to start swatching it back then this is burnt out this might go on my nails this is like red and bronze and gold and like a little bit of green and uh like very very awesome things happening going on here 
Yeah. Th this is a contender for going on my nails, too, because I feel like th this would look really good on me. And we're, we're going to be doing, like, a super durable manicure. We're not going to be doing peel-off base coat today. Because I need to get these braids out of my head, and then I need to, like, wash my hair. And so I need to... I need to ensure for absolute positive that this stress point doesn't turn into a break. And I need for my nails to be okay with being wet for an extended period of time. Which, I mean, is not great for them, but I mean, it's unavoidable. I mean, it is part of the territory. This is carrot cake, but it's carrot like, uh, like 14 carat gold. This actually reminds, oh, this reminds me of something. It's like a coppery undertone with then like a green, greenish flash, greenish yellowish. Mm, yeah. More, more of that, that kind of gold. Oh, that's there. Yeah, I like that. This I think I do have something that's very close to this though, but I just don't quite remember what. <clears throat> yeah, awesome, Sophia. <coughs> <clears throat> Tea is almost gone. I'm gonna have to switch to water soon. This one is very like girly. It's like a very girly pink and then like a blue blue and silver kind of a flash. Some of these almost I'm like duochrome, multi-chrome, or just like real shiny. You know what I mean? Like, is it just like an undertone of the other color as a shimmer or are you like really actually a multi-chrome but then like oh look at this one is confusing the fuck out of the white balance you see it flipping <laughs> but then i'll like look at it at a different angle oh yeah too and there's like a peach angle to this too that's hard to get a peach and like slightly fuchsia i wonder if i can whoop that's like way too far over The, mm, like right kind of there you can catch a little bit of it it's like a little bit warmer than like here it looks like very girly it's like a girly pink with a blue flash and then like a duochrome of a peach and a fuchsia they're complex colors <laughs> like i'm having to i'm having to really stretch it on the uh, descriptive and then this one actually is very this one is like a, if this one and this one had a baby, I feel like. Like it, it has, it's similar to both of them. It feels kind of warm and a little bit coral and peachy, like more peachy than pinky. And then it's got like more of an even more warmer golden under, t there we go. <laughs> There's the other color. Part of it too, I'm, I know, is just because like over here it's like different light. And especially right now we have like natural light coming in the window. But I mean like that's a huge difference to, to how it looks right here. And it's not that this is wrong either. It's just, I don't know. It's just not the only thing you see. This is another one I really like and I'm pretty sure I have something similar to the base of this. But I feel like it's not a duochrome. So... This is cash only, and it's like a a green gold with a like a blue to green duochrome. Can I get oh there like there? Can you see? Or oh like right in the in the cracks and crevices and corners. What do we get over here? No, you're not really. See, and then like one like this, like this camera is just not really even that helpful to show the, the actual there a little bit. Oh, this, this is a tricky one. 
like down here, I feel like you can see it like the underside reflection. And then when I try to turn it like a little bit more, then you lose it. The, the duochrome is almost like navy. Like it, it comes across dark on camera, but like the blueness of it doesn't come through, which I think is why it's kind of cool. That's also a contender to go on my nails. This one, this is a weird one. It's kind of an alien-ish looking. This is Don't Kale, my vibe. And it is kind of like a very producey green with like kind of copper, a copper flash. Can I? Mm. Mm, that's, oh, oh. There, there, no, there. Mm. It's so there, kinda. It's so hard. It's like such a weird challenge. Like you just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to know my angles <laughs> so that I can better like. Yeah, there you can kind of, there. That coppery rose goldy flash. And then like a little bit too of like a teal. Mm. Yeah, this it's so interesting how the camera does really well on some and then just like not good at all at others. This is like a, like a I have not seen Frozen, but I feel like this is what one of the Frozen characters would wear. And it's called Frostbite. And it's like a super bright turquoise. And then there's like a a greener turquoise flash. And then like a pale pinkish lavender also duochrome. Mm. There you see there you can kind of see some of that more like glowingy different color turquoise. Wish I, I could get some of the like lavender there. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> the concentration is so real, you guys. <clears throat> yeah, I like that a lot. And I feel like these, like this whole, this, this could be a water marble or a drip marble or anything. I mean, like oil slick wise would probably be more like, like those three maybe with like one of those this is also could be like a frozeny color this is hooked i guess this boat they think this one looks more like oceany or something which i guess i can kind of see they're they're quite similar though like this is more um The, the flash especially on this one is like a more pinky purple and on this one is more like a blurple mm, of course you're not getting you can't see the flash that there a little bit in the corner mm. yeah they're very whoa they're very similar. These are the most similar out of the collection. And then finally we have Rhythm and Blues. Definitely more of a blurplier blue with kind of more of a true purple flash in the duochrome. Oh, white balance. I see you tripping out. You don't like this at all. This camera does. That's closer. Can't quite see that blurple flash, but that one's nice too. So I think like for my manicure, like not, 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 mm. <laughs> the hard part designs what are you gonna do? Do, you, do you you said you had some ideas have you picked which one you want to put on your nails I 
I, I think we gotta go with this. Now the question, should I do something about, let me take off this little bit of polish that I have on them. These two problem nails and I can swipe off. Oh, where's my regular base coat? Um, hold on, I think it's right here. Whoa. Yeah. I always love when I can inspire people because like, I don't know, being inspired is a good feeling and being the inspirer, is that a word, is also a good thing. Okay, um, got a little bit of cotton here. Let's just... get a look at what we actually have going on here I don't know I'm bothering to act like this is enough swiping for me I need a q-tip to really get in all those crevices and be satisfied before I start a manicure so let's uh, let's get close <clears throat> um hold on hold on can you oh uh, the camera is not quite up to showing you the stress line on either of these nails which is kind of reassuring because it means that it's not like actually that bad but I kind of wanted to show you guys like what I'm actually worried about you pro maybe you can actually listen that little catchy sound is what I'm worried about basically like these two nails flexed it was kind of Clark's fault, but I couldn't be mad at him. And, you know, I got like a little peely area and I got like a little line in the nail. I I think... And so like my, my thought was like maybe I want to do something to protect these extra. I don't I don't have any gel that I would normally use for patching. So I was thinking I might just do gel polish, but I, looking at them closer, like right now, I don't think I'm going to. Mm. Yeah, definitely, son. I'll I'll do I'll st try to step up my narration game so you know what's going on. Right now, of course, I'm off camera right now. Anyway, right now I'm buffing very lightly the problem area on this nail where it's slightly catchy and now on my index nail doing the same and like lightly because like buffing makes your nails weaker but having snags makes your nails likely to catch on things and like for sure break so <clears throat> what what I'm worried about is that Number one, it's a place for water to get into the nail, like when you've already got like a, a little crack and a little lifting like that. And number two, it's a place for hair to snag on the nail. And I'm going to be dealing with this like shortly because I'm just, it needs to come out. It's getting on my nerves. It's It's been in like a month plus. And uh, yeah, I just, I need to get it out. Which is, I mean, it's not like a huge hassle, but I mean, it's not, not a hassle. <laughs> Give your wrist a break. All right, Sophia, thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your nap. 
I don't think I'll be streaming too much longer. I mean, we're going to we're going to do this whole manicure, but I mean, that's not going to take me that long. We'd we'd already be a good ways in if I wasn't sitting here. Yeah, that's better. Cuz like now, let me just hold it by the microphone. Smooth, no no catchy. No catchy spot. Let's give this one just a tiny bit more attention. And then what I'm also going to be doing because it I actually do it almost every time I wash my hair, like lately. I try to be good about it. Um what is it that Anna from Bliss Kiss calls it? I basically, I'm going to be wrapping my whole nail with base coat and with top coat. And it really, I feel like it really does help with how much water they absorb. And it really does help, um, you know, to keep accidents to a minimum when I'm dealing with my hair. Because between, you know, washing and detangling and then, like, styling it. I mean, it's a it's a process. <laughs> to put it mildly. So, we're just doing a real good swipe with acetone. Make sure everything's clean and dry. Including those undersides. I hope this looks as good on the nails as it does in the bottle. I mean, I've seen swatches of these and they look, I don't know, they look good. But it's always like, like I said, I don't I don't know if the formula is exactly the same and we've all had those polishes just lie to us in the bottle <clears throat> about their true their true face. So the base coat that I'm going to be using today is one that I got in like a duo last time I got my ready for takeoff. It's once regular base coat, uh, their non peelable base coat, base coat two. Um, and I, I like it. It's, uh, I've used it a few times and I mean, it seems decent. I've not, I've not like used it for super longevity. Um, a lot of times what I'll do if I'm getting ready to wash my hair is just like a base coat and a top coat. A lot of times I don't even bother with color. I just want to make sure that my nails are protected. Like I said, I'm just going to be wrapping top, bottom, and sides with the base and the top. And I'll probably do a little bit of cleanup today. I mean, like cuticles and stuff, but also not going to be too worried about it because this isn't, I mean, we're not doing a tutorial on this. <laughs> this will get um, you know, uploaded, archived, but there won't be a, there won't be an intro and an outro. And we're not on the tutorial camera, so all of my all of my nails personal little business is not being put on blast and I'm just really carefully making sure to cover that little weak spot I, I hope that all my caution pays off because I'm gonna be really mad if I end up if these end up like turning into breaks because I've been trying to be very very careful with them and, um, yeah, I would just be super irritated. This will go up on YouTube tomorrow. And then, I don't know, we're gonna, we'll see what this coming week, I need, I need to get my taxes done. I told you guys I'm a huge procrastinator. Um, so, like, that's a thing, but I also, like, we were ahead of the game with tutorials, and now we're not. Um, because I did put the purple one up on Thursday. So, I don't have any tutorials in my pocket. And we're going to need to get back on track with that. 
Because even though I'm like, it's still, I'm still a procrastinator, like, I don't know. I'm trying to get better at, like, really being ahead of the game and, like, having stuff up on YouTube and ready to go, like, long before it actually goes live. Instead of, like, at the last minute sitting there uploading it. Going, Why won't you upload faster? This is another nail that can be a problem. My right middle nail. I actually just filed my whole right hand a little bit shorter because I, I just busted the tip. Like it bent, and then like there was a stress line just across the whole nail, and I just was like, that's not, that's not gonna last. So I just filed it low, lower. I guess these are still decent length ish. <laughs> Not, I mean, like, I would prefer them a little bit longer, but they're not bad. And wrapping, like, the underside like this just makes it so that there's not, like, a spot for the water to get in. I mean, like, other than your actual, like, free edge, the hypo, 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 hypo you know, that thing. C4, hello. <clears throat> Welcome. We are having a, a chill little stream. We did, we hauled, is that the proper use of the verb? The uh, color clubs, and now we're going to put, what is this? Uh, burnt out. We're just going to do a Manny. And this one is just, it's really, it's got, it's got a lot of things going on in here. So, I'm looking forward to it. And this base coat dries pretty fast too. Like, I would say it dries a little bit faster than ready for takeoff. And it seems kind of sticky and slightly ridge filling. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be either. Yeah, I got the entire... Yeah, the hypo... Like, I, I could type it easier than I could pronounce it. Like, I any way that I pronounce it, I feel like that's wrong. Um, I got the Whatever Forever collection and the... Uh, Re-release of the oil slicks. Hyponicium. Hi Hyponicium. <laughs> I will not remember that. Maybe I will. Maybe I, I always say that and then sometimes I actually do. This brush is beautiful. See how the stem looks orange and then the brush looks red? Get those different angles. Should I leave the should I leave the bottle where you guys can see it? Do you like that? <laughs> do you like do you like seeing that bottle? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me stop. I will leave it there though. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the free edge cuticle. The technical term. It's weird. That's I feel like that's a weird spot to have the bottle, but we can we can work with it. smooth formula I almost would prefer it like a little bit thicker but like it's giving me good coverage it looks almost one coat on camera it's not I can see my free edge in person but like that's nice <clears throat> nice okay now I was trying to be stingy and didn't have enough Okay, that pinky was so much better application. <laughs> yeah, I, I, oh, there we, there's a little bit of the gold. It's like getting it at the different angles on camera. Ooh, there we go. Can be a challenge. The weird, there. Look at that. I mean, I could just sit here and just all day. <laughs> Mm. All right, it applies better when you have a little bit more, even if you have to really kind of be mindful. Not to, like, 
overly flood yourself. See, so can you see the difference? It's kind of hard to see on camera. There you can see a little. How the middle and the pinky look like quite a bit better than that ring finger. Because I was trying to like be a little stingier with the polish so I didn't feel like I was going to overflow at any moment. And it really kind of didn't pay off. It applied much streakier. Just do that in between every every stroke of the brush. <laughs> yeah, and this is one, like I said, some of them I'll be interested to see look like they would apply kind of frosty. Um, and, you know, frosty in my mind equals brush strokey. But this one... I, I don't know. I mean, somewhat I can see the brush strokes. We'll see how the second coat looks. Let's uh, do like this. Yeah, this is really pretty on the nail. And very oil slicky. I wonder if I'll need like a black, other than like a black base. Or if I can just like just marble some of these together. Like I think this would really super pop over a black base. Like even if you were just doing like a very sheer design with it. Or something like a drip marble or even a water marble. I feel like drip marble would get more um, what might be considered traditional oil slick patterns. Of course, there's also the stir water marble, which creates pretty organic designs. It's not quite the same as drip marbling, though. I feel like I'm sounding very nasally. I apologize. Yeah, I bet these are really, really nice over black. I feel like it's a it's like a little brighter on my nail than it presents in the bottle. But that also may be just because we're on one coat. And really you can kinda not tell on camera. It's weird. Oh, look at that. All that. All that's happening on my nails. I just hey there there you can kind of see. Different angles are so weird doesn't stink it has to be the new formula i really i'm gonna look that up after stream if somebody has a comparison between the re-release and the original formula oops that's a lot there yeah i would say to be careful on the final coat um with the brush strokes like it's got it's got a little bit of self leveling. Oh, that was messy. God. Oh well. That's what cleanup brushes and orange sticks are for. Whoa, orange sticks full of beanie hairs. Hmm. Hey, it was a cleanup without a brush. Whoop. <laughs> hmm. Whoop, as in whoops, not as in whoop, there it is. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. I, de I definitely recommend Color Club polishes, too. Like, 
Color club polishes are not something I knew anything about until, like, vlogging. Because none of the stores around here really carry them. Every in a blue moon, Ulta might have some. But, of course, like, when I was younger, Ulta wasn't a thing either. At least not around here. And I rarely go to Ulta anymore. I might, uh, might place like online order if I get a good 20% off coupon. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's more accurate to the bottle now. Yeah, it's really, it's very cool. It feels not graphic exactly, but like, I, I don't know quite what word I want to use. Thank you, Bodo. Yeah, it's really... Oops, I got some little some little dings there. How'd I manage that? Glom it on. Cover it up. Nothing to see here. Certainly not any sponges. Alrighty, a little bit of cleanup and then we'll do top coat and seal everything in from all angles. And I, I think I did a pretty good job. There's not a ton of, ton of cleanup. You gotta be kind of careful though. Like, did you guys see how that almost started to like wrinkle as I like did like that? And I still, and I was looking through them the other day and it just didn't occur to me. I still haven't pulled out the nail art brush that I was thinking I could try as a rounded cleanup brush. Every time I clean up, I think about it. And then I just proceed to continue to forget about it. Yeah, and I'm hoping too that the top coat, the the couple brush strokey issues that I do have, which they're they're not like bad, they're not as bad as like a frost. I don't really see them at all on camera. Um, I think Sesh Feet will just smooth all that right out. Just as soon as we make everything nice and purdy. That optical illusion. Just make sure you have a clean cuticle and everything else will be fine. I see a little hair. Uh, I dented it trying to get the hair out, but I think I did get the hair out, so... Semi-win? Hopefully Sesh Feet will fix it. If not, I don't know why I'm like, oh my god, this manicure must be flawless. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little... I'm not even going to be able to have peelies. So, it's a complete... It's like a throwaway manicure. Nice and clean. <clears throat> and I mean it's not like a huge difference but you can kind of you kind of tell of course this hand looks all dry now too because it's had acetone on it Borb hello <laughs> I don't know yo I need to uh, 
I mean, like usual, I need to like cook dinner and that type of normal stuff too. But I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm always talking about this. My room is a disaster. Um, this matters more than usual. Cause like I said, I need to get my taxes done. There's like, there's receipts and shit like scattered about. And like, it's, I don't know. I don't like being a disorganized person, but I am a disorganized person. Like sometimes I'm really organized. It's like, what is it? There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And when she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Like when I'm organized, I'm like, you know, making a fucking Excel spreadsheet of my nail polishes. And when I'm disorganized, I'm fucking having a box of polishes that are just sitting around because they haven't made it onto the goddamn Excel spreadsheet. So... I don't know. Am I an organized person or a disorganized person? Or, like, can you be just both, like, all the time? (laughs) That's how I feel. And it is, like, even my disorganization, it is organized chaos. You guys have seen me, like, have to start go digging through things. And 99% of the time, I feel like I know, like, what what strata I'm, I'm digging toward. And it's usually, I usually find what I'm looking for where I think it was. So I'm not like, I don't know. I feel like I'm making excuses, which is also unnecessary. Cause if you're, if you're disorganized, like, I don't know, as long as you're like getting along, you're fine. Like is, are my receipts all together? No. Will I be able to get them together and like do my taxes? Yes. I mean, I hope <laughs> I always have so far. So as long as you're, uh, as long as you're getting by, then it's a okay. Maybe I shouldn't say that because like a hoarder could be like, well, I'm just getting by. I haven't watched hoarders lately. Maybe that's what I should do. Binge watch some hoarders and clean my room because nothing will make you want to clean like watching hoarders. Or maybe there will be something good to watch on Twitch. Sometimes I get mad at Twitch, which is really absurd because I don't really want to get mad at any of the people because you're entitled to have like time off and to change your schedule and to do real life things. But like sometimes I'll go and there's like, oh, there's like five people on that I want to watch. And sometimes I'll go and be like, there's nobody here. (laughs) Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Because, well, it's one of those things, uh, perfection is the enemy of progress. Like, when you're trying to do it perfectly, it ends up not getting done at all. Like, I I understand that's, like, not cool. You know. Thank you, Borb. Yeah, this color. Where, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So many good things happening here. Where was I? Well, I was really getting that good reflection. Kind of there. Yeah. We we just went through a whole bunch of colors that all do that type of stuff. But uh yeah, you know, like I'm aware like okay, if you try to do it perfectly, it's just going to like end up piling up and then it's like the opposite spectrum. But, you know, sometimes like that awareness is not necessarily enough to solve the problem. <laughs> we'll see. I made I've made some progress. Oh man, like in a, in the like backlit, this is coming really metallic, like more, like even more than it looks there. Oh, Seshvita is going to do good things. Good, good things as usual. Oh, as I bend my nail there too. And like, as I roll the Sesh V, you kind of catch some different angles on, on this hand's nails. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to like rub my eye with not quite fully dry nails. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to be glomming this on and I'm going to be wrapping the whole nail. So undersides also. And this can get like messy. 
like a, you know, your little under, under nail skin part right here, like right there. You can like do that with an orange stick or, or try to be really neat. Shocker, I don't worry about it too much because once it's dry, it'll just peel right off from there. I feel like when you try to clean up, you also have the possibility of cleaning it up too much off of the underside of the nail. So I usually will just <laughs> leave it be. Um, really. More, more top coat. More top coat. From, from my angle, when I was just painting like that, the nail, the whole nail looked like an ombre. Like it was one color at the cuticle and another color at the tip. And this is, I'm just really, this is that problem, one of those problem spots. I'm just making sure that it's super enrobed in polish with which to protect itself. Yeah, it's like pink at the base and orange and gold at the tip. Kind of sick. I should get out my other camera and see if I can capture it. And then that would also help me to remember to post the other the other pictures that I took earlier in the stream to Discord of the uh, the uh, the whatever forever pastel neons. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Oh. I'm just comparing. I, I wonder how this will fully look when it's, when it's dry, like fully dry. Like, I almost want to say the Sesh V took away a little bit of the mirror finish. I mean, it wasn't exactly a mirror finish, but like, uh, autofocus, if you ever had a time to cooperate with me, now would be a really good time. Okay, look at these two pinkies side by side. This one has no top coat. This one has top coat. I'm trying to get them at like the same angle. Oh, come on, autofocus. Please. Please autofocus. Can I do the thumbs? No, autofocus, I hate you. All right, I'm gonna have to try and do it manually. Like up here, there. Top coat, no top coat. Top coat, no top coat. Oh no. I, I nudged it. Well, fuck. I hope the top coat will fix this because I smudged it during some. I don't even know what I did. But anyway. I mean, I'm not going to not top coat it, but. And as it's drying, it's getting less noticeable. Fuck. I also could try licking this, but I'm not going to. We're just going to hope that sesh feet will help it out a little bit. Good luck, little nail. Hope sesh feet can save you. <laughs> See, I, I, it's, it's the, what, 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 what do you call it? Uh, dichotomy. Because I was just literally sitting here before like, oh, let's let there not be any brush strokes. And now I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's smudged. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Both are true. And actually, Seshvit is smoothing that out like a lot. Because Seshvit is fucking magical. 
Wow, and actually, I bet the camera's not picking that up. I just noticed, like, when I've got, like, a nice big glom of sesh feet on the edge of the brush, that, like, some of the duochrome colors are refracting in that. I, I can't look at the camera and paint my nails at the same time, but if you see, like, a bead, like, right there, can you guys see cool stuff happening within that glom? I hope so, because I saw it and it was cool. All right. So, like, this has been a pretty short stream for me for Saturday. Um, I'm still kind of tired, still kind of, you know, going through it. I'm, I'm okay-ish. Um, I feel more okay when I, you know, do normal stuff and I've, I've had some time to sit in it and I've, you know, I don't want to sit in it 24 7 and streaming definitely makes me happy we had a really nice stream on thursday night super chill this was a really nice stream i appreciate you guys i got some weird bubbles going on in here did i have bubbles in my sesh feet shit can you see it right there ma bubbles in the thumbs oh well excuse me um what time is, it's it's only four o'clock so this is like the end of this stream i'm not 100 percent ruling out a stream this evening just depending on how i feel and depending on what else is going on um i really should be cleaning my room i really should be doing my taxes but i may be here on twitch playing hollow knight <laughs> um I will definitely be here on Twitch playing Hollow Knight tomorrow evening. And then as far as the rest of the week, um, midweek Manny Day is technically Wednesday. Like I said, we kind of, we have some catching up to do to get me back in a place where I feel more on top of things as far as YouTube tutorials. So there may be like a, like a Tuesday stream for that instead. Updates will be in Discord. If you're new, you are welcome to join. If you're a lurker, you're welcome to lurk in Discord just the same. Um, lots of cool stuff going on there. Um, nails, pictures, pets, food, sales, sharing, social. Come join us now. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I really, I think my Discord's a pretty freaking cool Discord, but... Hopefully everybody feels that way about their Discord. Um, let's see what is going on here on Twitch where I might be able to send you guys to enjoy uh, the rest of your afternoon or part of your afternoon or, you know, something. Um, I do believe um <laughs> I think I'm gonna send us over to praise she's doing some cool book binding looks like are we still where why doesn't it show me how long she's been up here Hey, Twitch, why why you be doing me like that? Well, she's not to the actual putting it on the book part yet, so... Hopefully she'll be going for a while longer. And I'm just going to raid everybody over there. That way anybody that's lurking in a, in a reclining or somnolent position, you don't have to get up. I will send you directly over to another cool stream. And uh, no particular raid message... Um, you know, you can just say hello and introduce yourself if you like. Some of you may already know praise. Um, have a good evening, afternoon. I guess it's afternoon for me. Morning. What, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Okay.
actually think I can with the two. No, that is a short one. That's okay though. So it'll be one into the plus and one. 